Hi everyone, now I'm going to go to Casting Demo um, interview. So the thing we've been in a bunch of videos now, and I hope you guys can join. Uh, now, this um, interview <laughs> was made into five parts now. Uh, After the next five with, uh, days, we will be ready to this go. interview. It's, uh, it's, it seems like we are needed somehow. Uh, because we, um, we have a certain product that I don't think you can find in many other bands uh, and it was something that we really tried to make but it just happened and um, we have uh, a playfulness and uh, unpretentiousness that I think is needed in in the music industry and we get that verified everywhere we go because we're we're welcome everywhere <laughs> is, is music becoming too pretentious um, well, not all of the music is pre too pretentious. There's a lot of music out there, but um, I think maybe in the, in the hardcore industry, um, the music that you hear on all the radios all over the world, it's the same in Norway as it is in the Netherlands. And I think it's a shame that um, the world is not exposed to more music, but it's coming now with, um, with the internet. Mm. Um, it's it's easier to to get hold of other music than the one that is paid for by big companies. Mm. So um, I would say maybe not uh, the biggest trouble for me is not maybe pretentiousness, but the um, the polished and uh, not interesting music. It's a lot of that out there, and I think we we're good uh, contra contra. Um, Contrapunct, um, English. Yeah, the opposite. Maybe. The opposite, yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. How do you keep the dead balance for yourself? Because when you have a product or an art, then you want to show it to the rest of the world. Um, how do you keep the balance of not getting too, too much to the, 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 the mass production and all the things that's <coughs> around it? And well, I think um, it's, uh, to us it's most important to write and arrange good songs. And sometimes it fits with um, with the industry as well. Uh, but to us, it's important not to make it too too fit the industry. And if it does, it's it's by coincidence and and luck sort of. Uh, but we we had this discussion just a few weeks ago where we um, we uh, we are still very we still feel feel very strongly about trying to push and um, Challenge, challenge the, the borders of music and the borders of the industry, uh, like other big bands have done before us. Uh, great bands have done before us, and uh, if you want to to get noticed, I think it's also important that you dare to take a chance to become unpopular, because then you will become even more popular if you if you really uh, reach out to people I think just go your own course uh, yeah what kind of great bands uh, are there that, that that in your eyes did something similar the Beatles, Beatles. <laughs> for example <laughs> uh, Led Zeppelin um, Jethro Tull uh, Genesis there's a lot Taking of great bands and still doing that a great and, uh, band I think to uh, they make great yeah, albums, to, great songs, to contribute to develop a great show music the, and music styles. Band. You have to try to do something new, and I think also it's very important not to do it because you can get that, just um, because of you. You, you can you get, to get new because it feels right. Albums on uh, iTunes, but Amazon. Don't let it hold you back. That it's what you buy, never been done I before think, or even I'm done not before. Sure. Uh, whatever feels right inside. Um, should be what you so, try to reach out to well, people with. Well, the are on what YouTube, kind of so uh, you can always go and push your own boundaries. What kind of ways? Um, we don't try to do anything in Cats and Jammer. We we don't try to push boundaries. I think our boundaries are broken uh, naturally. Because we like to experiment and uh, we're not afraid to take any chances and do something Be that probably like sounds weird for other people in the first place. Um, so we we don't push them, we just break them naturally, I think. 